We are in the 207 kitchen at O Main Studios with Ben Hasty from Thistle Pig in South Berwick. Welcome, Ben. Excited to be Thanks here. Thanks for, for joining having me. us. Today we're going to show you how to make your own homemade refrigerator pickles or whatever vegetable you want to try doing this with. What would you suggest people are going to use these for if they're making them at home? You can use these in a salad. You can use them on a sandwich. You can pack them as a healthy snack in your lunch. Okay. Or it could be a late night snack. All right. And so, and the other thing that's really great about this recipe is these are all vegetables that are available to us pretty much year round. Absolutely. You can use, um, you know, standard kind of grocery store vegetables, right. cucumbers, peppers. You can um, carrots, hit up. I love that. You can hit up. Uh, it, it can be grocery store carrots, or you can hit up. You know, your local farmers market. These today are from M and R Harvest in South Berwick. Okay. Great little small farm. That so we let's use. get started. Yeah. What are we going to do first? We want to so, peel all these guys. And how important is it? You know how you chop them up for these pickles. You want them pretty. You, you can really kind of choose your shape that you want. I'm going to go in spears. Um, you can also slice them thin if you plan on putting them on like a banh mi sandwich or. Um, or say if you're going to do a cucumber, you want to slice thin to go in a burger or an Italian. Okay. But in this case, I am just going to. That cut is them. one serious looking knife you got there. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you got to have enough steel to. You also have to know what you're doing. <laughs> to get done what you need to get done. And so, then once we start putting these together in the jars, you've got a few vegetables already chopped up absolutely. for us. Absolutely. Okay. What then goes into the process of putting them together as so pickles? So the next thing that we're going to do is salt them. Okay. So I've got kosher salt. Right. I'm going to kind of liberally cover these carrots with salt. All right. And can I bring up the rest of our vegetables Absolutely. As well? All right. Let's do that. And we've got green peppers. We've got cucumbers and red onion. I was thinking red peppers might be good for this Red as peppers well. would be beautiful. Okay. And you want me to throw some salt in that here? That would be great. All right. Put me to work. That's why I'm here. Let's get a little salt on the onions and. Is that good? I don't want to overdo it. Maybe you can't overdo it. No, uh, I mean you certainly can, but that's great. Okay. We're gonna want to cover them. And that's one of those European cucumbers, right? Yes, it is. All right. And we're gonna put a little bit of salt on that. Okay. So we're just gonna mix them up. Right. And normally you would want to let this sit for a while, right, with just the salt. Normally around 20 minutes. Um, but and these then, are not normal times. Uh, no, they're not. In the 207 kitchen, ever. <laughs> so we're, we're let them sit, yeah. and what this does is kind of opens up the pores that's going to then receive the vinegar and the solution that we're going to wind up um, right. pouring into them. Um, so, and you can honestly already see it. They're kind of they're sweating, kinda sweating a, little. a little bit. Yeah. So, um, it's just the hot studio lights. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now what we're going to do, we're going to load our veggies into the jars. All right. Want me to do these in here? That would be great. All right. And this is so pretty too. I, you know, you can do this as a little bit of a gift as it well. It is a perfect in gift. a beautiful mason jar yeah. like this. And you can wind up, um, you know, doing like a mix. Like you could do cauliflower, right. cucumber, um, carrot, a little hot pepper. So we're gonna get them in here. Okay. And then I think you want your vinegar up here, right? Yeah, we're gonna add some aromatics to these. So okay. we've got a little bit of dill and garlic. And we that right is kind us. of your choice as well, right? Depending Absolutely. on what flavors you like. You can choose, say you want to go spicy, which we have some Trinidad scorpions that um, my friend Dr. Albright um, grows for me in Rye, New Hampshire. So we got some. Those are, I'm guessing, pretty hot and spicy. They're though. very hot. <laughs> Not for the um, faint of heart. So you can do a little garlic. I'm going to do a little garlic and dill in here. Mm. These are and pretty to look at as well. In here. Once and then it's just the vinegar going on, right? Absolutely. Okay. And once they're all put together, you put them in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. How quickly are they ready, and how long will they last? I would say that after like around two hours, they're okay. going to kind of receive that flavor and they're ready to use. They will last in your fridge for I would say a couple months, just so long as you. Um, are There's the other one. There we so go. long as they're sealed and covered in their brine solution. And then these and make uh, like a nice crunch in a salad. I hadn't really thought about absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah, a little bit of flavor too. A little bit of flavor. Ooh, awesome. Pretty garnish. And it's just as easy as that. And then you want to put your lids on, seal them up tight. Yes. All yep. right. And wow. They go in the fridge, they're ready to go. What fun. That was easy too. Yeah, very even, easy. Even somebody like me could do it. Absolutely. 
We'll put you to work at the restaurant. <laughs> Don't say it twice, Ben. Thank you so much for joining us. And we will, of course, have the recipe for these uh, ideas for pickling on our 207 website and mobile app. And we will be right back.